welcome everybody back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Happy Sunday and welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it. <clears throat> I am, this is my second time recording this video because the first time, and for those who do YouTube videos and stuff, <laughs> you'll probably laugh at me too. Uh, I'm sure this has happened to you. After I recorded it, I realized I forgot like two or three things. It's not like I have a lot, but I forgot a couple things and I was like, just re-record the video. So that is what I'm doing. So today I have a little bit of a haul for you. Um, and I'm so excited about this haul because it's full of different things um, that I am currently using or will be using here very shortly um, or sometime this year. But anyway, so let me jump right into some of the tools. Um, let me just say uh, a few of the things and I'll let you know, you can get them through Amazon. And for those who do not know, I do have an Amazon store. It is an affiliate link. So that essentially just means if you decide to shop on Amazon and use my link, I just get a little bit of a commission for that. Um, but you most certainly don't have to do that. You can just search for the product on your own and, and, and get it that way. Doesn't matter. Just letting you know, putting that out there so you know that. So let me start with one of the basic things that I picked up. And it's actually, um, uh, this is more of that tracing wheel that has the, the real spikes on it. Um, I believe is commonly referred to as a stiletto. And I actually picked this up because after being in the, which I'll be talking about in my video next week, so make sure you stay tuned. Um, my pants block class that I took with Andrea Soda Fit, um, when we were rendering the pattern, um, we she used this and, um, and so I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Cause the other ones I have are very, you know, the, the smaller. Okay, so yeah. So like I was just saying, the spikes on there, um, so yeah, it's really, really good. This thing came so wrapped so tight. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, the other thing I picked up due to taking that class too, Andrea was using, these are called, um, these aren't in my Amazon store. Um, I don't, I don't think, but you can find these actually at Target, Walmart. I got these at Walmart and I, they were under three bucks, but these are the Crayola twist, uh, uh, coloring pencils and I absolutely love them. She was also doing this for doing some uh, marking on the pattern paper and it seemed easier to use use these and they just twist. Look at that. They just twist up and they're, they're really nice. They mark really nice. Um, and so, and then the, no, this end doesn't have the, but you use a regular eraser um, to erase if you need to. So um, yeah, very, very nice. So I did pick that up. I also picked up in this, we're going to blame this one on Nikki from Sewing at Midnight. If you, I'm sure many of you following her, but she had, when she was in the process of her move, she was sharing some of the things she left behind in her sewing room. And one of the things is, now this is in my Amazon store, uh, but <laughs> this, um, it's a needle pad. And like I said, I had opened up everything, but it's called My my um, pad for needles, a machine needle organizer. And you can get this on Amazon. And I absolutely love this. I don't know if any, any of you who so deal with this, but, um, and I'm sure we all do at some point, you get confused about the needles that you're currently using and you try to place them in certain areas. And, oh, that's that needle. This is that needle. And when she showed this, I was like, oh, I have got to, to have this. So it covers all of the needles um, that you would need. And then this little marker here, to, um, this pen just tells you this is the needle that's currently in your machine. And so brilliant. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Nikki. This thing is so brilliant. So I just have my ballpoint jersey needle sitting in here and I have my jeans denim needle sitting in here. And so you got top stitching needles you can put in here, leather, metallic embroidery quilting, microtex, of course your universal stretch. Oh my gosh, it covers all of the needles. So I can't imagine what needle you would have. It, it does not have, you know, a marking for, and this is just like, it feels almost like some kind of felty foam thing, but um, it doesn't go through it. Um, but it's, you know, it's hard, but it's soft enough to put the, the uh, needle through. 
brilliant. And so, and if there's other needles that you think um, um, that you, it says down below, like this extra space, you can put your twin needles, wings, I don't know what wings are, um, or triples, I don't know what triples are. But, um, so if you have a double needle, you can put those um, in here as well. And so, yes, brilliant. I have to tell you, brilliant. I'm so happy. It stays propped up on the side of my, um, my sewing machine. The other thing I picked up, and this is, you all know I was looking for good tracing paper, and so I have found the Berta style. Um, it's called copier paper, and I got it in the yellow and white. I can't remember what subscriber it was, but thank you, thank you. They mentioned that they also sell in a red and blue. So um, I eventually <clears throat> found it. This is also linked in my Amazon store, but here it is. And this comes from... Um, the UK, the quilt is a quilt, the quilting bear. Like I said, I threw the packaging all away for everything, but because I am a prime customer on Amazon, I get free shipping. So it was only $5.99 for this. And then um, what was the conversion? I don't remember, but uh, I think it was, a, I'm pretty sure it was a conversion rate. Anyway, so I now have it in blue and red. So I'm so excited about that. Um, and then, I will, I'm gonna do a separate video. I'm gonna do a video series on my French jacket um, making. So, cause you all know as part of my make nine, I am doing one of my make nine items is a jacket block. And so um, I've settled on doing a French jacket. And so I'm so excited about that. And if you're following social media, you know that um, Goodbye Valentino, Julie Star. Um, if you follow Lone Star Couture, there, there's a um, series in Goodbye Valentino's uh, newsletter on French jackets. And so, so excited about that. And, um, and I settled on that once um, I saw Vivian from Stitches and Seams. She said, I can share a picture. So I will pop it up here when she did a purple jacket. Purple, just love purple anyway. But I was like, oh, a jacket. And so then I started pinning things. And then... Um, the, it evolved into doing a proper uh, French jacket. And then if you follow So Custom um, here on YouTube, you know she's actually doing a series, how she's turning her, her block into her French jacket. Very good series, you must catch that. Her videos are phenomenal, love following her. But anyway, I picked up this book because I started, as I started doing my research, um, Susan Kajal, um, is the you know guru for couture things right and she has a camp and everything um but um she there are certain blog posts out there that she's done or contributed to and i remember one blog post i i read the person who wrote the blog mentioned this book and it's called S a couture sewing the couture cardigan jacket sewing seekers from a chanel collector and so I went ahead and picked this up. I am so excited. I've already thumbed through this. It talks about the types of fabrics you need, the finishes, because, you know, the whole uh, chain, you know, that chain that's in the French jacket, um, proper interfacing to use, all of that techniques is in this book. And I'm so excited. But here's why I'm extra excited. Look, it comes with a DVD. So that's what made me get it because not only because of the book, I probably got the book anyway if it didn't have the DVD, but I did see reviews for it that said the DVD really helped people understand what they were saying in the book. So y'all know I'm a visual. I'm a visual girl. So, um, but as I've been learning um, terms, um, sewing terms, proper sewing terms and what they mean and what it looks like to do a certain thing. Now, when I read books, I do understand a little bit better. I think I mentioned that before in previous videos where I've had books, but in, in the past for like two, three years, but I didn't understand the language. Um, and it just took time for me to just understand what some of the terms were and everything. So now it starts to make sense, but so excited. So I'll be doing a separate video series on my whole French jacket um, coming up soon. So look out for that. Um, the other book I picked up is the uh, Chanelo Bailey Freehand Fashion. And because uh, BHM Pattern Designers last month, I knew I wanted this book and um, I've seen um, several UK ladies 
already meant talk about Chinelo maybe a year or so ago. And, um, and I always said I was going to get the book, but because obviously my sewing skills weren't where they, oops, weren't where they were, where they are today. I just didn't see a need in getting the book, but now I'm working on my blocks and everything because here you do need your blocks in order to do create these. And she do in the beginning of her book do talk about blocks and things and creating um, certain blocks. And she talks about certain techniques and everything. Um, and so, which is nice. But let me tell you why another reason, the main reason I picked up this book, well, because now I feel comfortable, but this dress right here, I absolutely love, love, love that dress, that look. And you could do so much with that look. And so um, it's called the Peplum Hem Dress. And there's several others. You see, I've already marked. These are the ones I'm doing for sure. And then these are ones I want to do after these are done. I know my little labeling system is funny. Um, but her, it's just so many fun things in here um, that... I'm excited about that one is the first that's the, that's the first one I'm gonna do out of this book um and then she has a few others let me it's so okay cute. this is the other one this is the wraparound maxi dress so cute so so cute and so um yeah I'm excited about this now that I understand um but again these things are linked in my Amazon store if you want to just take a peek at them but so excited about that. And then I also picked up um, a couple um, uh, knitting patterns as well. I've never knitted a day in my life. This is gonna be a whole new skill set. These couple things, uh, my goal is to have them done by the end of the year. My French jacket, that goal is to be done by December 31st. Uh, these two knitting projects by December 31st, <laughs> all these new skill sets. I'm not going to rush anything. Um, but this here is by Hey Brownberry Designs Pebbles. It's called the Pebbles and Pathway Socks. One of the entrants for the uh, BHM Pattern Designer, she did these. And I thought they were so cute. And so she has a YouTube channel, um, this pattern designer. Um, Black Pattern Designer, you can get this on Ralvery. Um, it's called Pebbles and Pathway Socks. Um, hey, Brownberry Designs. And so I do like cuddly socks like that. And it's more so to wear around the house. And so I was like, oh, that would be so cute. And so <laughs> I, was, I went ahead and, and picked that up um, in February. And then also I picked up one of our sponsors is Baron Handmade. So I picked up her Cardi Zan as well. For those who don't know the Cardi Zan, this is what it looks like. Um, sorry about the glare there, but so excited about also that cardigan. I can totally see that wearing in our winters here in Texas where it's cold, but not totally cold enough for a coat coat, but you can get away wearing something like that. Totally up my alley. Last but not least, I picked up finally, y'all know on my make nine is a bra. So I picked up two pinup girls bras. I picked up the, this is called the Ingrid. Let me take this out so um, you can see it without the glare. But I picked up the Ingrid. I absolutely, now you can make this as a sports bra or a regular daily everyday bra. I'm going to do the everyday bra first. Um, and so that is this design. This one is the sports bra design where it says zipper option. But um, yeah, so cute. Absolutely love that. But I also picked up because this one has the craftsy class where you follow the craftsy class to sew this up. Um, and just so you know, so with craftsy is now blueprint. If I also have a link down below for that, if you know that's something you're interested in or want to look at, plus craftsy. Uh, Blueprint has a lot of the couture videos that I, I'll be watching as well for my French jacket series, but um, to learn some techniques. And I watch uh, the Blueprint classes all the time anyway, just to look at different things. But I do have a link for you can get a week free just to, um, to, to poke around. But if you are interested in doing the classic bra, there is a craftsy class. 
And if you don't have the free link, if you don't sign up for the free yet, or you signed up for it uh, and you already have it, go ahead and, and follow that. The Craftsy class is um, it's classic. It's called Classic Bra, I think. Um, but anyway, it's Beverly Johnson. So you'll know who it is. But I picked this one up, the Classic Bra for the class. The Shelly Bra from Pinup Girls, Meet You Makes here on YouTube. She did a sew along for that. So if you really like the pinup girls and you want to try their bras, I suggest, and this is your first time making a bra, I suggest doing one where you follow along with the video until you kind of get comfortable with the materials, the tools, the techniques, terms, and different things like that, where you're following somebody who's already doing it. So you can follow along. Um, you can also follow uh, Liz Souls. She sews bras. I want to say she always sewing a bra, <laughs> which... That's my goal because I absolutely love bras. I really, really do. And once I master the fit of this bra, trust me, and the sun is coming out. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. Um, I will be making a lot of bras. But I picked this one up um, and I actually got the, and like I said, I took everything out of the package. So I'll pop up a picture here how the everything looked that I got. Uh, but... It, I got the kit for the classic bra. So with the kit, you get all the bra findings. Um, and so I got everything. I got the, um, what is this? The little hook and eyes and the sliders. And the I don't know if you can see that, the little bowl that comes with it. And this is in the color chocolate brown. And then these are all, I don't want to take this out and these all unravel. But I got the straps, the the lace and everything that go, everything that I need to make one classic bra. I got the uh, fabric, the chocolate fabric, and here's the power mesh. This is some good power mesh. This is like that power mesh um, I had gotten before um, for my sports bra and that kit. I love this type of power mesh. So what I did was, because this is, you know, my kit, I went to Joanne Fabrics, which sucks for bra supplies for anybody who want to know. Um, but <laughs> I didn't plan ahead or I would have just bought some more, um, you know, search, sourced out other resources online, which there are several, I do know. Um, but um, I did get managed to piece together enough from Joanne Fabrics and I did have some fabric just like this chocolate actually in my stash, but it's black um, that I'm going to do my muslin in first before I use the good, good stuff. So um, I do have everything for that, which, you know, I'm working on that now in collaboration with um, Penguin and Pear, Claire. So if you follow her here on YouTube, you know she also, I forget which one she picked up. I want to say she might have picked up the Shelly bra, um, but um, she picked up, you go back to her video and um, I'll link her video below where she talks about which bra she picked up, but we're supposed to be revealing those at the end of February. So all goes well. You know, this is our first time, so don't hold us to that hard date if we have a couple hiccups. But um, but anyway, that is that. That's all. That's my haul. I didn't forget anything this time and don't have to uh, insert pictures and stuff. Oh, I forgot this, forgot that. That is it. I do have, let me be honest, full disclosure, I did pick up a couple other things, but I'm going to show that um, at the beginning of April because that is going to be a special, my special Easter project. Um, it's a whole ensemble with bag, handbag. Yeah, y'all coming with another handbag. So uh, keep a lookout for that video at the beginning of April. Um, but yeah, that is it. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. I greatly appreciate all my new subscribers. I thank you guys for sharing the video and I just appreciate all of your support. Um, and so, yeah, that is all I have today. You all have a fantastic and blessed week and we will see you in the next video. Bye.